Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we'll show you how to remove and replace cabin air filter on Mazda CX-7. Not very complicated procedure, not very many people think of that, but it's pretty much nasty. Uh, this one has 136,000 miles as of right now. So we want to see what the filter looks like. Stay with us, we'll show you how to remove it, how to replace it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and let's grow the channel together. Alright guys, and if you clean your car and it still smells bad or you smell cigarettes or something like that, cabin air filter is the reason for that. So in order to remove guys and clean the filter or replace it, okay, you need to empty the glove box. And now right here there is a stop on the side. Okay, let me get a good view because it's a little bit dark in there. And you need to, you need to push it out of the way, okay, all the way out, that's the one I'm talking about here. And then we have the stops right here. So what do you need to do? You need to push it towards the inside. Okay, until it jumps. Okay, let me let me do that quick now. You need to grab it with two hands. Because this one is super tight. Okay, this one came out. And it went back in. <laughs> Okay, so those are the things I was talking about. You can see right here and the one here and they get stuck on this stuff here. So you can pull the glove box not to be in the way. That's the thing that we unhooked at first. So uh, it hooks down there. Okay, and this is the cabin air filter where it's located. You need to pull that lid. Remember the arrows go down. Okay, let's see how nasty that thing is. And have the feeling that it will be, it will be bad, really bad. Yep, let's go outside and see how much stuff we can get out of it now. Okay guys, that's the fielder. Okay, watch now. What's gonna come out of there? Okay, you can see. All the stuff, all the dust flying everywhere. So, yeah, inside everything looks black. Look at that thing, it's all the way plugged up. You can see what it's supposed to look like, white. Okay, like that, but it's pretty much done. We're going to clean it. Uh, we're going to clean it with the vacuum until we order one. And you can spray it with Febris, we're going to show you. Kills the bacteria and makes it smell real nice. Okay, so just go ahead and clean it with the vacuum now. Okay, some Febris now to spray and it's very important how you install it again. Uh, don't forget about the arrow, it needs to be done. We'll go ahead and install it quick now. Okay, so we can just uh, go ahead and Install it there. It goes in an angle. It's a little bit of a tight fit there, but you will get it in. And uh, you need to install the lid. Remember with the arrows down, and that's how the filter should be pointing as well. Arrows down. Because that's the airflow. Then you need to get the glove box, and you need to just go ahead, push it in. Okay, push up to lock and you need to install the little lock on the side that's the one that prevents it from going down too fast when you open the glove box okay and let's see if, if it works now yep everything works perfect so uh, that will be guys the whole procedure thank you for watching please subscribe let's grow the channel together guys and see you next time